hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today <laughs> I've got something I've been waiting to talk about um, a product I've bought I've been waiting to talk about for well I, I sent away for it about eight days eight nine days ago came after eight days and it's the new Victoria Beckham um, it's the matte bronze in brick so that is a lovely packaging and just wanted um, I wanted to get online and sorry on my YouTube and get it done really quickly because um, everyone's now coming along with their you know their reviews and what happens is the main people do their reviews and then you do yours and no one bothers to watch it so but then I do have my own take on it as well so I'm um, sorry I've just there's some kind of mark on it anyway yeah so I've just wanted to show you it arrived in a box that's recyclable with also um like a bubble wrap that's also recyclable so that's quite good um Victoria Beckham's all about the clean beauty which is great and um sustainable packaging as well this is her the box that the brightening brick comes in and then the back there if you want to see that and I got shade two so I was humming and hawing about shade one and shade two. Shade one seems to have a little bit more, it's more, um, there's more of a contrast between the colours. Um, however, shade two just has a little bit more warmth and depth. As you know, if you've watched any of my videos, um, I like the warmer bronzers with more depth. Now, there's been a bit of criticism as well because um, it is a duo Sorry, I'll just open it. So anyway, let's not talk about that now. Let's just talk about the packaging. So when it arrived, it came by flight, obviously, from New Jersey. New Jersey. And the packaging, and I'll just, it's got a little push there. The packaging was actually open like that. So obviously the air, the pressure in the airplanes probably pump, sorry, um, I think you did open. So what you get in it is a lovely big mirror and you get a little plastic cover and then that is the actual bronzer there so it's a duo bronze and the, the two shades are let me have a look honey i think honey and see this where i always, always need my glasses it is the warm one is soleil and the contour is honey so that is the back of the packaging just to show you there now there's been a few people sorry about the noise there's workmen next door um there's been a few people who've said it's not really a contour and a bronze it's more of a sort of warmer and lighter bronzer i don't mind that actually because the thing is with a true contour and shade it will have like a gray just to let you know sorry as well I keep going off don't I it's actually um sorry I'm, I'll cover that it's actually got a little in uh, indentation there so you can push push it out it's a magnetic palette you can push it out and put a new one in so it is recyclable the packaging because it is quite beautiful that tortoise shell packaging it's got a massive mirror and in the corner of the mirror it's got a little VB so it's a nice little touch from Victoria there um yeah so going on sorry about the two colors there um people are, there's people who are saying that it's not a true contour shade contour shade has a, uh, is a gray tone the thing with that is unless you're a makeup artist or you're exceptionally good with makeup there's a real danger that with a true contour shade with the gray tone you're going to overdo it and i've seen people who've done this and um, what happens is, yeah, they get the contour, but they get like, it looks like they've got bruising on the face because they put way too much on. So there's no room for error with a, no real room for error with a true contour shade. So I, I understand what Victoria Beckham's done here because she's done the Soleil, which is the warmer one, to chisel out and carve, you know, and do a contour under your chin. So what she says is to contour under your chin here um here to give um definition to your cheekbones and then a little bit up here and then you use this tone the lighter one to um 
add all over your face so it, it is more of a forgivable then it becomes a forgivable bronzer with a little bit of duo you know a duo dynamic going on you can also mix them together and that you know use it as one color as well um i like the i just like the idea of the fact that it's a duo bronze and um even though i think wayne goss has done one he doesn't sell in the uk and i don't know whether i'd really buy his products anyway i don't really know anything about his products um but however so and then as patrick tar have done one as well but I, this is the f the first one i've wanted to buy so i like um victoria beckham i've got one of the lipsticks on here in sway I j when i bought the lipstick i was just immediately in love and know for a fact that she really really thinks about what her products are you know are about so with the bronzer i just wanted to tell you that her ingredients um she uses um, what does she use she uses moringa oil moringa balm and moringa oil and that gives um it, it helps with fine lines but it also helps with breakouts her, all her, her ingredients are quite natural um, like I say, Moringa, um, she's got also cocoa and cocoa seed butter in as well. So really natural products, clean beauty, vegan. I'm just really impressed with, uh, it, there's just been a lot of thought that's gone into this bronzer. Whereas some of the others that I've got here, the, it's, the ingredients are, they're not so skin friendly. Although they're lovely, I still love them as well. I just like the fact that it's took her two years to develop this bronzer and she's really thought about it. So I, it is expensive um, for 9.6 grams product. It is £52 or $58 US dollars. Um, I don't mind because like I say, it's a lovely weighty packaging, really beautiful. Like I say, um, you can get a new one once this runs out and pop it pop it in it's lovely on the dresser it's a bit weighty to be traveling with and like i say it, it the clasp on it is you really see you really have to push it down really hard to get it to stay so i think there's like a little bit of um they needed to make the packaging maybe a tiny bit deeper to stop that happening but it's still it's not a deal breaker so what i want to do is i'm going to give you quick swatches Oh, it's lovely and smooth that. It is a, a pressed powder and not baked. It's lovely and silky. So I'm going to do, that's the light one there. So that's um, honey. And then, like I said, it does kick up a little bit of powder. So there you go, there's Soleil. And I'm going to put that there. And that is Soleil. So honey, it's Soleil. And then I'll try and mix them together. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, it's a bit more. Yeah, and then there, there's the two mixed together. If you can see that, so honey, soleil, and then the mixed together. I've got some comparisons as well. I just want to pop them um, on my cheeks because I've got nothing on my face at the moment. So what I'm going to do. Just making sure I get the right. I've washed all my brushes, by the way, so they're lovely and clean. So I'm going to get two brushes I think are suitable for doing the contour, and also oh, I can't even find there it is. So I'm going to use my Chanel little contour brush there um, to use the darker shade Soleil, and it does pick up. A, it does kick up a little bit. A product there just so you can see so you have to be really careful about dabbing it on and I'm just gonna I'm sorry I'm looking into my mirror here I don't want to grab it because they end up obscuring your view so it goes on really actually you know what I'll use hair mirror now it's interesting this mirror it makes your face look a little bit bit wider and smaller it's slightly mag oh it's slightly magnified that's why yeah there's a slight magnification on the mirror oh that's interesting so yeah a mirror is quite 
slightly magnified so you can look at what you're doing. It's hard for me to get my contour because I've got fat cheeks at the moment because I'm um, in the middle of um, working out and trying to get the weight back off again. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I don't want to overdo it. And then I'll put a little bit under the cheeks. I mean under my chin and on the jawline. Yeah, if you just press in, just gently, you pick up plenty of product and you don't kick it all up. It's lovely and smooth in feel. It's a bit hard to see with the magnification there, so I'm just going to... Use my other mirror. Yeah. If I just blow. Yeah, so I'm in the, mo I'm in the process of working out at the moment to get my weight down because I put a lot of weight on in lockdown, as I mentioned in my last video. Yeah. So, do it down the sides there. Yeah. Hopefully in a couple of months you'll I'll see start seeing some definition in my um let's just put my hair out the way a minute. Excuse me. Yep. Yeah. That's quite nice that actually. It is a like I say matte powder. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of tiny bit up here. I've got a very high forehead. So I tend to like to put a bit of darker bronze across the top and then buff it out but I'm going to buff it out with the other colour now so yeah I like that it's quite warm but without being um, too dark so it, the thing is if you get a bronzer that's too light you're going to end up carrying on dipping 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 it in to, to, to build colour up and then you go through the product so much faster so that's why I tend to err on getting it slightly darker side. So what it, there is, there's five shades in this, two, two very dark ones. One, um, number, so number four and number five are very dark for olive skin tones. Number three is for a medium skin tone. And then number two, one and two are for lighter skin tones. Now the models on the picture show a blonde girl using number one and a more... Italian looking girl wearing number two but yet yeah, they both say they're for light toned um lighter tones so I thought I'm just gonna go with number two and take a chance so there's the um honey on the brush and I've used my um seamless seamless uh, shape seamless um it's called now shaping finishing brush and this is from bare minerals i love this brush actually so i'm just going to go over a little bit over the contour to just what's oh, nice that because it's quite it's much like you know it's quite light so it's not too in your face so like i say i think number two is not that dark really is it It really isn't that dark. I tend to film these and um, when I'm doing stuff and I'm watching, you know, I'm putting my makeup on here in the mirror, the application isn't that dark and then when I look back on the video it looks like I've put a ton of product on when I actually haven't. It just looks darker on camera for some reason. Oh yeah, I actually really like that. It's not too in your face. I'm just going to go across my nose. It's not too in your face, you know. And then I'm just going to, because that's a bit dark, I'm going to blend out. Showing you all my grey hair there. Fabulous. Oh yeah, I really like that. It is very matte and it gives, it doesn't give quite the sheen that um, the Dior one does, the Dior 110, it does give a 
little bit more of a sheen. It does give a little bit of a satin finish though. It's not too flat. So yeah, I do like that. And it is lighter than my Dior one, but I did buy number five in the Dior bronzer. So I did buy quite a dark shade. Yeah, that does give. I'm just gonna put a little bit more contour. That does give um, a nice sort of sun-kissed look. It's quite, it is natural looking as well. So yeah, I really like that. But like I say, it's just the, um, just a little bit of a concern with the actual packaging that it struggle, you really have to, see it's, So you really have to push it down to get it to stay so if you if you like um i was going to um, buy the new chanel bronzer you know and i wasn't going to really um bother with this one however the, the new chanel bronzer i don't know whether you've seen it it is super dark too dark for my skin tone so you know the cream bronzer sorry so i like that i do so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly finish off my face and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to uh, then show you the comparisons. So I've just got a bit of rose bronze blush from Chanel because I think it goes with the, any bronzy colours. Gives a beautiful sheen as well. There we go. Sorry, I'm looking in the mirror again just to do that. Yep, yeah. and then get that done. And then I just I'm gonna use my Soleil Tan de Chanel in Sun Kissed. Now um it's it's been reformulated this in the new pack new style packaging, but I've still got the original. Um I love this. And my it doesn't come with a pump. However, you just need the tiniest amount to just brush across, you see, see how uh, illuminating that is. And just to give a bit of highlight. Okay, I've put a bit too much on even with that little tiny so so that's that so i wanted to just go through so like i say there's the victoria beckham i want to just go through um some others i've got to compare you know and contrast basically so my chanel soleil tan chanel bronzing cream in 390 so this is the lighter one i'm just going to do a quick swatch of that and let's have a there we go and that, I'll put that there so there's the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel now everyone always thinks that's really light but it does I'll just blend it a bit it does blend out really well that and it gives a lovely natural finish as well so that's that one I just want to check I've done um, that. yeah I've done that okay yeah and the next one is also in Sunset, my Le Beige. This came out last year, um, part of the Voyage collection, I think. Um, but a Le Beige summer collection as well. And that is the one there. Do you know what? It's been sunny all day. And as soon as I came to film, it's um, suddenly gone. Really dark. And that's the um, sun sunset i love this one it gives a beautiful this one's got a sheen it's not matte i was going to say the le beige is matte as well um, this one isn't it's got a lovely golden hue it is absolutely it's possibly my favorite bronzer of all time that one is beautiful then i wanted to just show i didn't some i didn't show last time um the dior contouring palette now this does have so that is it. Now these two here, I'll just show you the back. These two here 
or um, contour as well but I'm going to put them here so that one is the darkest shade there and then the grey greyish one is here although it's not it's a much cooler tone to there and that is the darker and lighter one in the Dior contour contouring palette I, I, I really like that I haven't used it for a while I'm going to go back to using it um, and then next I'm just going to I got this um, hourglass I forgot to show this one last time and in it it's got um, it's got four colours and one of them is a bronzer now that bronze is lovely because it's quite pale so there it is no cover the mirror there it is and I'll put that um, here However, it's not that pale, is it? Look at that. So there, so that is not unlike the Dior, that one, or the darker one in the Soleil, in the Victoria Beckham, you know, the Soleil one, the darker shade. So that is the Hourglass one. And that's part of a trio of, um, I don't know whether you've seen the trio of uh, bronzers in the latest one they brought out. So that's in that palette. And then, my darkest one of all <laughs> is my Charlotte Tilbury in number three tan. Now this is just huge. I'll never get through this ever, I don't think. And it's a bit dark for me. I've got to have a bit of a tan on my face to get away with this. Um, however, I didn't like... And I'll just put that there. See, that is clearly very dark. Red undertone as well. I was going to say the... Um, Victoria Beckham number two has got more of an ambery gold undertone. Um, the Dior one is more cooler undertoned. Ch uh, Le Beige Chanel bronze and cream is paler. The Sunset's a golden amber undertone. And like I say, the. No, that's. Sorry, what have I done here? No. That. I've lost my way now. So, yeah. Um, that one is the hourglass and that one is uh, warm toned as well and then you've got your um, Charlotte Tilbury and tan so yeah so as you get oh sorry that was the mixed colour together that's where I'm getting confused that one is the part of the uh, Victoria Beckham mixed together that one is the bronze and cream which is quite warm but it does blend out to be quite um, a mild colour and then that's the sun, sunset in the Le Beige as well, the powder bronzer with the more ambery undertone. And then finally my last one, because <laughs> I feel like I'm going on now, is my Dior one which I bought a few weeks ago. I've already, I put the review to this one, I love this one as well. This is number, let me get that right, number five in um and it is a lovely warm matte bronzer too so this one's matte as well let me just show you that one there and i really i, I do like this for quite a few times now and that one can i put it here yeah there we go so that one's got a, a warm it's quite warm there as well but not quite as red undertoned as um sorry keep looking in the mirror but it's so i can explain to you uh, so it's not quite as red as the tan one so there's all the colors like say those three in um, this one is the victoria beckham here and that's the dior so just wanted to compare some of the colors i've got i know they're not there's not a great deal of difference but i do like this one i like it i like the fact that it's more the most matte one i own so it's more matte than the Dior one. This one has a, it doesn't have a lot of kick up this one. Um, it's got um, some oils in that one too. So it's quite nice. So if you're not wanting to send away for the, sorry, the Victoria Beckham one because it's hard to get a hold of in the UK at the moment. Um, it will be another few weeks, I think, before it's out. I think uh, Netaport to sell it and... I'm not, I don't think Selfridges sell it. I think um, Harvey Nicks will sell it as well. 
so yeah I just wanted to show you those and I also quickly want to go through one more powder that I bought and um, it's not a new product by any means and you've probably seen loads of reviews on it now the reason and it's the Gucci uh, face powder now the reason why I'm talking about this one is because it's neither a favorite nor a fail and I don't know where to fit it in <laughs> so I thought right well I'll fit it into this video really quickly so it's a Gucci powder comes in that lovely light pink pouch as we know and the reason why I wanted to buy it and I've wanted to buy it for a while is because of the packaging the packaging is stunning and it's very retro and it reminds me a lot of uh, the palettes my nan used to have and I remember when I was a kid so that's why I wanted to buy it and I've, I've finally got the shade um what shade did I get I got the shade I wanted anyway and that it's 10 grams of product just so you know it's matte nat a matte natural powder I bought number two so number two there I'll just give you a quick glance at the back of the box and that is the um, lovely mirror little mirror there that is the powder there and you have also if you do that with the mirror you can open up underneath and you have a little puff there that goes in the bottom it also has a tiny little tiniest of holes there which you can push it out and um, have a refill I haven't seen the refills as of yet um, I just want to go through the powder so that's the powder there right and there's no point in me showing you because you won't see it it's not it's quite it's fairly silky and very fine however not as and I've just got a little brush here and um, this is a bare minerals brush and I'm just gonna go over it there I don't know if you can see it on the brush there and put some and that I haven't powdered my face because I was waiting to show you this so I'll put some of this down the t-zone I will say about this powder it's not quite as blaring as some powders I own like the hourglass one that I showed you showed you here there that one there is much bl more blares a lot more um, it is super fine and I think this one would be great to take to work and have as a touch-up powder however and it does feel lovely by the way on the skin it really does lovely and silky it just doesn't blare as much as what I thought it would um, like I say the packaging is stunning I do have the Chanel Poudre Crystalline and that one is a white powder I use this for under my eyes and this one I'll just show you there is just it's just super silky and soft beautiful really beautiful they do a white powder at the moment from Chanel however this one is from a number of years ago still going strong it only has um, 10 grams of product in it but this will last me quite a lifetime this one actually just show you the back this one actually does blur so I just wanted to quickly come on and say it's not one of the the best powders I've ever owned however it's the packaging is stunning it is beautiful it is lovely it is a lovely product it is worth just getting it just for, as a collector's piece um yeah I do like it um I'd probably use it like say just for touch-ups to set my foundation in place no I, pro I probably wouldn't use it it's probably not going to be good, strong enough not as strong as my Chanel one anyway I hope I've not missed nothing um, please like and subscribe please put any comments below or, or if there's anything you want to see further let me know and I will show you it and thank you very much